much more damage. So much more damage. Alright, dude in here to the right. Do 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 Ah oh, jeez, I missed. On the wall! Can you think of that? Can you think of the wall? I've met a wall. Alright, yeah. Gotta go back there and deal with these guys eventually, I guess. There's a way to deal with them right, though, in my opinion. They did a pretty good job of making sure you don't, be, you're not able to like, the AA doesn't just sit there. Like, you see how they run at you? And since I haven't tried this, sorry about the coughing, oof. I'm gonna see something here. See if this makes them, uh, get distracted. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, that's that did not last very long, did it? fighting me for trying to cheese. I wish I knew how much health he had left. Nope. Uh, I'd rather not go down there and get destroyed by these guys. So. Oh, well. two of them. And two of them are too, too, too many. For me to handle one, I want to handle one. I'm going to play this guy. Alright. Items in here. Probably coming down. Oh my god. skill. Hmm. Let's see. Alright. And next on the docket is to follow this wall here. Okay, there's a boss. watching this is explore like as you notice like there's not a hundred percent set path that you need to go in this game like I'm showing you where stuff like what's necessary in here but if you notice I've been picking up a lot of stuff that like I'm getting elsewhere as well 
So outside of like key items and certain things like that, you can play this game pretty much how you want. Because, like, yeah, I recommend the Claymore. I like the Claymore. It's how I like to play. But you could definitely play something else, you know? I'm not 100% sure where he spawns in at, but I know darn good and well that he'll come over here to me. Gotta listen for him. He should come from the left. Go up around here. There he is. He's got like banding on him or something to draw him to you, so. Just don't run out there and get jumped or anything. Oh, I thought I heard him. Oh, yeah, he's dead on. I think that's him. Maybe. Oh, it's definitely someone. Come here, you jerk. Come fight me fist to fist with your magic. For the record, he won't run out. Let me walk over here. Try to get him to proc this way. The AI in this game is not the brightest. Oh, there he is. He's going to try to play the keepaway game because he's a spellcaster. He doesn't exactly want to get in on you. But... that he like does that honestly like a lot of times he'll just come there to you but the fact he brought all those enemies with him uh, reminds me of an actual player I only have a limited number of these so yay this time I'm gonna play a little more cautious
I notice he's not spawning. Need to beat him though. There's another place to get him to spawn. You run this way. There we go. And he's less likely to jump you that way, but I like spawning him at that bonfire. Because it just, for me, it's a, by central I mean you're right by the bonfire. But this is going to have to do. So bring it on, jerk. I hear him buffing. It's coming from the left. Damn, he does a lot of damage. trying to be the greatest Dark Souls player that ever lived, and I'm sure as hell not trying to make a stick, but there's a way to handle everything, and the game's not hard. And once you start treating AI like I would a player, you know, AI starts... Oof. I just remembered something. I've got something for this. find out. I don't have any SNS left. So No, Mr. Crab. No. Don't do it. No, I've never noticed the crap come up here. Huh, you might notice. That's on the other side of a certain area. With well, a certain black knight. area is always fun. I do believe I can level up at least once. The build I'm going for is a, a faith build. It's a faith complement first build. You can get at it pretty low level. And you only need three spells to really pull it off. Spells being a strong word there. Because two, well, two are miracles and, well, yeah, and one's a, uh, well, miracle. So, yeah, they're all miracles. So, yeah, no, uh, spells is really the wrong word. But at the end of the day, that's really neither here nor there. 
they go up in the top bar, they act spells, yada yada yada. Flaming Kestis. My burning fists. Actually, I think I could upgrade them at least once. Did. What? Well, no. Mm. Pretty be careful. We're coming along. Now I need to go back to this bonfire, which, spoiler warning, is a heavy PvP area. And I need to run through this area and get all of the, like, there's a bunch of items and stuff. That guy that we talked to on top of the on top of the tower, I help anytime, um, he's going to help us out with this area. There's a sharp gem up there. Good luck getting it. Like, you really gotta sneak up on that thing. Dang, it's super armor. And yeah, I'll point out again, not a hundred percent run. Pressing X like a madman, just pick it all up. Letting our boy take care of everything. Alright. Here's a place that I hate doing, because it's like. Where I jump is always a... I made it. So, yeah. Let's go this way now. All along the Mulberry Bush. Alright. There's gonna be a little guy who's gonna fall down here and try to gank me. Well, shank me. He's a thrall, he's a jerk. But you did this. Ah! Take that jerk. Oh god. Why are you so strong? Uh. And there's some ashes. If we get all the ashes, we'll be able to buy everything all the upgrade materials save a couple because uh we should be able to buy all the upgrade materials as far as the like tide knight shard tide knight large tide knight shard tide knight chunk twinkling tide knight and tide knight scale what we won't be able to buy is the tide knight slabs which kind of sucks because it's like they really did the player a disservice in that regards. Should we try to fight this boss or I'll open up the shortcut? <laughs> Look inside my head. Alright. I wonder how many flasks I've got. Eh, I should have five or six, so I'm going to fight this boss. Which, believe it or not, if you had a, uh... There's one over here. 
who's a red-eyed demon or some crap. He's like stronger than the rest of them. I did that for a reason. I broke your nuts! You're not big fella. One of them. Goodbye. <laughs> and he has a chance on his body. Which is an amazing prospect, by the way. Look at my crotch hand. Look at it. That's all I hear when I think about that. My dick finger. That'd be a hell of a name for a villain, wouldn't it? Dick finger. Ooh, what in the world? Oh yeah. Ooh, that hurt. It's a moment like this. I really wish I could see my health a lot better, but that's a long story there. He takes extra damage from fire, which is weird because I thought I had more pine bundles, but they might be gone completely. your souls in this fight you have to get to second phase again the idea is to get in here instead of screwing around with these guys get in here fight him and then
Hopefully that didn't kill me. It did Yay. Missing much. Well, very well. That hit. Because covering all the areas uh, well, pretty I well, run. actually. I'm like hold on to their soul, sure? like their soul items and stuff, and I'm like, eh, not me. There's, there's really no point. Good either. You can you can do so much better by just going on and using them. Hmm, that's tempting. Ashen one. But not yet. What's better than him? Mm. Almost well, there. I should won. Now, let's go up here. If there's nothing I want, I will... Mm, not there. You what? Show you what you can Pit get. Pit what? But if you're going for a hundred percent in this game, oh, that unkindled. dude, he's. Oh, you get the uh, the transposing kiln from fighting that enemy that we just fought, the uh, big old bad boy with the. Hmm? With the big nuts and little gang team. Honestly. I don't want any of this, but no, no. I'll leave it for a minute. I don't recommend selling your boss souls because depending on what you're doing, Jesus. you'll miss an achievement by selling them. So just stockpile them unless Pretty you uh, feel like you what don't really care about the achievements, which you might want to. Pretty be careful. So. And now, since we beat a boss, oh, hey, over here, and we can buy stuff. Better than the claymore, I'll tell you that. How much does it cost? Is the question. Way more than I have is the answer. 
I need upgrade items Goodbye. and stuff like that. But we're gonna stick with the Claymore because we're gonna skip from Zoihinder over Zoihinder and go straight for regular stick with the Claymore. Honestly, the Claymore's a really good weapon. I like it. I think it's strong enough for damage. It's incredibly strong, actually. And as far as um, swinging, you get plenty of swings with it, which is really nice. That allows you to summon more people if you're playing online. <sighs> All right, well. Ashen one. Let's go talk to Yol. Oh, I would. Then shall we? Bet. That's done. Be safe. Alright. Yeah, this isn't really a cinematic game. For anyone wondering. Alright. Thanks. Let me think for a second, real quick. Is there anything else I want to do? do this. Let's see. Let's sell. Ashen one. Care of. skip some of that didn't I all right well if anyone watches this and you want me to go do that the end of settlement sewer and show you exactly where that's at hit me with a comment or yeah if uh, this video is like a super old is in advance because like we'll probably have covered this a million times but if you do comment If you do comment, I will do everything in my power to make a video of me going to it. You know what? Better than that, fine. Because, funnily enough, I know right where that's at now. So never mind. Detach that. Forget I brought it up. I'm going to show you right now. I have changed my mind because I'm giving it to you without you having to do anything. Lucky. Just skipping all of the tension and weird, awkward Dark Souls type foreplay. What in the world am I talking about? It's right here. Ouchie. I'd rather not die to these guys, honestly. It was literally, like, it hit my brain how close that was when I brought that up. 
and I was like, oh my god, why? Why would I even, like, bring it up as a, yeah, hold on a second, make a comment. I'm like, no, that's stupid. The dumb things I brought up. We didn't go this way. And the little guy that's, if I can get to him. Trap him. He always disappears before I can, like, get to him. And now we'll go this way. And we'll handle all this stuff. Now I know you guys might be thinking, you're kind of going all over the place. Left and right, left and right, left right. Well, that's kind of what you need to do in Dark Souls. Explore each and every area over and over and over again, checking everything. Making sure that you've gotten everything, because one trip through this place, you're not going to get everything. Like, that's just not gonna happen. Ooh, that's right, she has all that high frost. Not fun, but someone's stronger than you is it, lady. Oh, it's picking on people. Yeah, this plus three weapon with a heavy gem makes a lot of difference. That's needed. Because we gotta upgrade the Kestis now. And for those of you that weren't paying attention and might have missed it just then, that was a Titanite shard. Okay, nah, that's not the way I wanna go. That was either a Titanic Shard or an Ember, if I remember correctly. I love how you guys are like looking at the screen to probably go. Can't you read? It's a long story. But Fred Nunn, there's get jumped in here. I knew it. What's up, big boy? Again, just reiterating because I know I'm going to catch some slack for this. Not a 100% playthrough, but it's a fun playthrough. I need topics to talk about to my problem right now. It's like... Like, I know I'm probably not talking about things everyone wants to talk about, but uh, talking about the world kind of doesn't sound fun because, you know, the world kind of sucks. And to go off and talk about, like, anything happening in the world right now would be to mix some things that I'm also talking, tired of talking about. So this isn't me being censored, just to be fair. This is me literally being sick of it all. I'd like to think about other things, honestly. Life's hard enough. I think there's something. Huh. I forget what that is. There should be something here. And then... To this place and we've just about done everything that the undead settlement has to offer to be fair for the life of me i really can't think of anything else this area has that we really need to do because we got all the key items that i would recommend getting there may or may not be a couple items hit spread hidden around everywhere but nothing is ringing a bell of, oh man, they missed that. Because nothing is really coming to mind of, there's someone behind me. Might be up there. I have these really cool headphones. Um, they're not really anything unique, but it's just, I can tell where the proximity of things are. Oh God. Yep. I 
that's a creepy thing to hear someone say. Ooh, wowzers. Oh jeez. Oh man, oh jeez, oh gosh. Oh, I didn't realize I was gonna reach. Anyways, so might as well. Fighting. Go, go, Sir Duck. Did that up there. I already did this in here too. Yeah, I remember doing all this. All right, cool. Let's go. I know that there's another place here that we didn't exactly explore very well because I walked right past it. There is an enemy. Flambard. It's a pretty cool sword. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, I'm not paying attention. And for where this enemy's at, he's kind of strong, honestly. But with the claymore, getting him to drop that's a pain. I can hit him and be done with him pretty quickly. All right, we're gonna go up here and to the right. Get in a Tim. Woo! Shield. Getting thrown at. Something thrown at me. Alright, well, that was. That was it for this area. That's gonna. That could kill me. Back here and double check. The only thing really left here is, as I remember, a hidden covenant that's well, it's not a hidden covenant, it's a hidden way to get to a covenant. But we've already got to the covenant because we beat the Curse Rod Gravehood. So that's a quest I didn't do. So I'm not gonna worry about it, because it's really not gonna affect anything unless you're going for 100% which if you are and you're going for specific covenants good luck because I've already done all that once and got my 100% on this game and as fun as it is going because there's so many little things that change things okay to give an example like if I were to go beat a certain boss that I know right where it's at I, again, I know that sounds redundant and stupid to say that I know where it's at. Of course I know where it's fucking at. Um, a boss that I know where it's at. I could literally cause Yol, the dude that's leveling us up, to die. Like, he would actually just die. Right there. Mm. I don't want to do this place yet because I know I'm going to die. So, what I'm going to do is Head real quick back to where would be a place I could get some decent souls really fast. Because we're not in any of my favorite grinding spots. Could go do this real quick though. Because the next thing I need to do is level up. And, uh, yeah. Because I want to get to. A certain level before I fight the Abyss Watchers and the Crystal Sage. Which, to be fair, I do have. That I could sell. <laughs> no.
no doubles of any items. The cool thing about this game is like if you have an item there, so you can quickly just go through it. Something I do want, and Action we're about to go get as I level because I just remembered what I what my plan is. I usually go from this armor set to the Lothar Knight set. So my next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get a set of this armor and then we're going to run through Fair and Keep. Which I'm going to leave you guys with me for now while I run through this and show you guys how to handle these knights. Which will be far better than the first time I handled them. Because when we were first here, yeah, they were being pet. Also, we'll get really used to members and stuff. Actually, with that all in mind, let's organize some things real quick. Make this easier on me. Go here. Alright, what we're going to do is get rid of that. That. Trying to think here. Huh, we'll leave one shield. That sounds pretty good. Sorry, I'm, I'm having to think. I'm sorry for the silence. Don't leave. Alright, let's see. Almost done here. I do this so that I can go through and get myself a lot faster. And as nuts as it might sound, Makes a lot of difference, honestly. Makes a ton of difference. Come on there, buddy. Tomato punching duck. Come on, big boy. And to be fair, that's all unbuffed. What I always tell people to do is this what I'm about to do right here. Which might not do it on this enemy because I'm gonna try to get this backstab off. Oh, nope. Ooh. I heard that ring brock is that that's a that's a telltale sign that I almost died. And to be honest, another reason, a another one, 
that I went ahead and threw my stuff in there is because I'm going to get a, several doubles of each item in this area. And I'm going to sell those. Because selling doubles is, to me, fine. I would recommend it. Um, you really only need one of each weapon in the game. Like, I have two on my main account because it's like, why not? You know, like, yeah. Ooh, actually, we'll go do something else real quick as well. Since I believe we have enough to level. But with the uh, fact that I could upgrade the Kestis makes this all worthwhile. And while I'm doing this, we'll make a cut, and I'll meet you guys back at Lothar Castle. Later.